Hi guys, it is a gray, gloomy, nasty day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this yucca. It is a Monday, I think it's October 17, 2022, and uh, going a little bit uh, crazy here with tiny house fever on this ugly day. So I'm just sitting here ranting my little doomer face off here and uh, trying to, uh, just running a little test here today and, and having my main rant about the future green resource wars, but I'm trying something different where we're, I'm going to do just some smaller, what I'm calling snippets of collapse today. So I think it was, uh, alert listener, uh, Kevin Shan Holzer, who sent me this article, which is now five years old, but everything in this article I'm quite sure is more true today than it was five years ago. And how many times just recently have I talked about how Chernobyl, if you want to look at, a, at the, the best example of how wild animals, uh, how their populations rebound. If simply left alone, if humans get out of the way and just leave them alone, the rest of the earthlings we share this planet with will just deal with it and that the Chernobyl nuclear blast zone the uh, human exclusion zone in around in and around Chernobyl has quickly become one of the biggest gardens of Eden on the planet since humans moved out in 1986. And this is the number one reason when all of this crap about if humans go extinct, that the, what is it, 435 nuclear plants are going to melt down, and that 435 nuclear plants will wipe out every other uh, earthling on this planet if humans aren't around to keep them from melting down this, in my opinion, unadulterated, fear-mongering horseshit. I don't buy it for a second. Eight billion humans versus 450 uh, nuclear power plants. Any one of our fellow Earthlings on this planet, if they had to choose, would you rather deal with eight billion humans or 450 melting down uh, nuclear power plants, any uh, of our fellow Earthlings with half a brain would obviously choose the 450 over the 8 billion. But this is, I'm pretty sure I read this article when it came out in 2017. This is from Science Magazine. Uh, <clears throat> From, uh, no, I'm sorry, this is from 2015. 2015, so seven years, seven years ago. But anyway, take it away, Science Magazine, and explain this to anybody who doesn't understand this. <clears throat> Humans are worse than radiation for Chernobyl animals, study finds. Yep, yep, yep. Elk roe deer, wild boars, and other wildlife are thriving in a radiation-contaminated preserve largely off-limits to people near the Chernobyl nuclear power plant researchers have found. In a study published today, meaning seven years ago, scientists report, quote, no evidence, as in zero evidence of a negative influence of radiation on mammal abundance, close quote, in the Chernobyl human exclusion zone straddling the Belarus-Ukraine border. 
much of the 4,200 square kilometer zone was evacuated after the nuclear plant's Unit 4 reactor exploded in 1986, sending a radioactive plume over Europe. This is uh, co-author Jim Smith, an environmental scientist at the University of Portsmouth and in the United Kingdom, quote, quote, when humans are removed, nature flourishes, even in the aftermath of the world's worst nuclear accident. Is there any part of that sentence that you do not understand? One more time. When humans are removed, nature flourishes, even in the aftermath of the world's worst nuclear accident. Yes. But some scientists argue that the study glosses over findings showing that the radioactive contamination has damaged individual animals. <laughs> uh, the work relies on data collected several years ago in Belarus between 2008 and 2010. Belarusian scientists counted animal snow tracks uh, in the Belarus sector of the human exclusion zone. They had also tallied animal numbers by helicopters um, in the 10 years after the disaster. Analyzing the data, Smith and his colleagues found no correlation between co contamination levels and animal track counts they report in current biology. In fact, they found that mammal populations in the human exclusion zone rose after the accident, apart from a dip in wild boar numbers between 1993 and 1994, suggesting that hunting, forestry, and agriculture had suppressed wildlife numbers before the explosion in 1986. Said Smith, quote, we are not saying that radiation is good for animals, but we are saying human habitation is worse, close quote. Uh, Co-author Tim Hinton from the Institution of Environmental Radioactivity at Fukushima University in Japan acknowledges that the study did not probe how the radio contamination has affected individuals. Quote, without a doubt, uh, he says, animals, you know, individual animals near Chernobyl and the Fukushima power plant in Japan suffered genetic damage. The million dollar question is, what is the significance of this? We don't really know. Close quote. Uh... Ron Chesser, a biologist at Texas Tech University, says the paper concurs with his own work, which found that small mammals were abundant and diverse around Chernobyl in the 1990s. Quote, their data, data are much more complete and exhaustive than ours. They are to be commended on a Herculean effort to finally put this debate to rest. There you go. But this debate will never be put to rest. 
this whole thing about these 450 nuclear power plants uh, melting down as, as the, the most grasping at straws, feeble excuse to try to rationalize, rationalize the continuance of humans on this planet. It, it's laughable. It embarrasses me uh, that fairly intelligent people are still talking this crap. And I am not saying, as this scientists say, that 450 nuclear plants melting down would not be bad for the individual animals living near the meltdowns, okay? I am not saying that. I am simply saying that compared to living uh, and trying to coexist with 8 billion humans on this planet, uh, they have a hell of a lot better chance, uh, a hell of a lot better chance dealing with 450 nuclear meltdowns than 800, than, than 8 billion little miniature nuclear meltdowns. Anyway, I'll see if I have it in me to talk about carbon offsets. My guys.